Hello, and welcome to That So Last Season. I'm Jeff, and each episode, I take a shallow dive into the latest episodes streaming on your favorite platforms. Now, have you ever been in that circumstance where you notice the newest season of a show you like is now available for your binging pleasure? Well, how about where you start the new season, only to realize that the last time you watched it was ages ago, and you totally forgot what even happened last season? Well, here I discuss many of the shows that are in big in pop culture and recap what happened last season. Now, shall we begin? There's a show on Bravo called Vanderpump Rules. Now, if you have been living under a rock, or if you just never have watched any season from the Real Housewives franchise, let me explain how this show compares and if you should even watch it, or if you should just start watching from this latest season. The season's focused on weddings, weddings, weddings. Oh yeah, and more weddings. I'm pretty sure there was a ceremony where the groom was a lizard. Anywho, on January 7th of this year, Hulu released season 8. Uh, okay, okay, so the star of the show is, of course, Lisa Vanderpump. Let me just gay-splain the show for you and give you some background. Lisa Vanderpump started off playing a super rich and super British housewife on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Bravo came out with the OC first and then said, well, I guess we should just do a series closer to Hollywood. Now, I don't want to talk too much about the Housewife franchise. I predict that many straight men shudder when the Housewives are even mentioned by their girlfriends or spouses. I just imagine a woman taking control of her TV remote and turning off the football game and saying, okay, it's housewife time. After a couple seasons, I want to say it was the second season of The Real Housewives, they created a spin-off show that showcased one of Lisa Vanderpump's restaurants called Sir. Now, I've never had the pleasure to go and eat at a nice, fancy restaurant in West Hollywood, but this is how I would imagine a place like that in California to be like. Waitresses sound like valley girls and have fake boobs and fake hair and fake eyelashes. Oh yeah, and the outfits are really revealing. Vanderpump Rules has a cast of waitstaff that resembles this cliche as perfect as anything. The girls even hem their dresses to be shorter and fit more snug. Like I said, Hulu released Season 8 at the beginning of January. Season 8 aired on live TV back in January of 2020. And the last episode, which is the third part of their reunion show, yep, third and final part of their reunion, aired in June of 2020, this past summer. I don't think they ever had done the three-part reunions like they did with the Housewives. Bravo usually has to tape the reunions of Vanderpump Rules at Andy's Clubhouse on the set of Watch What Happens Live. It looks like they're in a basement. The reunions are my least favorite part of the show. Not to mention the Secrets Revealed episode Bravo likes to air in between the finale and the start of the reunion. That episode where they show you short, tiny clips of unaired scenes, and that's pretty lame. Now the big question is, do I think you should watch this latest season to be released on Hulu, Season 8 of Vanderpump Rules? Well, no, I don't. Not only are there 24 episodes at around 40 minutes each, but this season was a season like no other. On the last season, on the season finale, they opened up Tom Tom. It was teased the whole season and would show all the ins and outs of building a restaurant from scratch. This would be the third restaurant to have cast members from. The first one was from Sir, and then the next one was Pump, and then finally, this one was named Tom Tom. It was named after the duo cast members Tom Sansafal and Tom Schwartz. Tom Tom. I remember feeling so excited for this new location for the show to revolve around. It looked absolutely stylish and so chic. It was definitely small, but it was basically just a bar. 
So when this new season came out, I couldn't wait to see all the drama. I was definitely stunned to find out that there were new characters. There was Max, the new manager at TomTom, Tom, and Dana, a blonde waitress, and then Brett, a hot Instagram model who was the male version of Sheena. And by the way, spoiler, Sheena has a doppelganger, and it's pretty hilarious. They do take up quite a lot of time on the storyline with their love triangle that somehow seems forced and overproduced. Like, the producer saw how boring these new people were and said, well, let's just make them hook up and fight over it. These were actual lines, and I am probably a little off, but Dana had Max over, and she asked him if he liked her, and he said, like, exclusive? And she was like, yeah. It was an eighth grade conversation, and not an eighth season conversation. It just felt like they were introducing new characters because Jax was turning 40, and soon the others would follow, and nobody wants to see immature old people still acting dumb and young. The whole show is based on them all getting drunk. Now, I will say that the star of this season is unknown. It's definitely not one of the new characters. It is normally Jax or Stasi or sometimes Lala. But I think it was actually Kristen this season, the girl with no storyline except to be portrayed as a villain. And a bitch. Now, that still was the case, but she was almost in every episode, and it was the same drama. Stuff with her ex, and then fall the falling apart of the three witches of WeHo. Stasi, Kristen, and, um, I always forget the other girl. Uh, let's just call her Bubba, because that's what her husband calls her. She calls her husband Bubba, too, so it's kind of confusing. So yeah, Kristen is a, she's huge on this season, and by huge, I mean plain, tall, and boring. She is the self-pity Kristen we all know. Here's the deal. This season is so boring, that's, and that's why I'm recommending not watching this season. This season, as soon as I was a couple episodes in, I knew something was different about this season. It is totally reminiscent of the last season, season 7, where it was all about Jax and Brittany and their wedding. Well, if you love weddings, then you will love this season. It has wedding after wedding and a funeral? One of the Toms of Tom Tom gets a lizard. And after having the lizard for four weeks... The poor thing died. Not only did he cry, but he cried in public at what looked like a public pool as they were having a funeral off to the side. Everybody that was in the pool just looked on, and you could see how weirded out they were at seeing grown men cry for a lizard that they hardly knew. Oh yeah, and he named the lizard Dog. Now, if you like to watch grown men cry... You definitely want to watch this latest season 8 of Vanderpump Rules on Hulu. But if you don't, then that is probably a good idea. I will give an update to the next season, season 9. Since season 8 wrapped, this past June, Bravo announced they would be firing Stasi, Kristen, Max, and Brett. They were fired due to some racially insensitive comments and actions they had made in the past. I won't go into detail, but let's just say they are all ignorant as hell and Stassi and Kristen were behaving like Karens. Girl, bye. I haven't heard that they are taping the new season since the restaurants are all closed in California due to COVID. I could care less about a season nine because it probably will be all about babies, babies, and more babies. I heard that Lala, Brittany, and Sheena are all pregnant. The last thing I would want to watch is baby mama drama. I'd prefer to save that for the Real Housewives. So I hope we can chat more about some of the greatest and not so greatest shows that deserve a conversation at the least. Tune in next time to That So Last Season as I take a shallow dive into the latest TV shows that are currently streaming. Please share my podcast with your friends and family, and have a great night.